Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a new video on the channel. Today's video is all about the subject of Android emulation on a Windows computer or a Mac OS X computer. So long story short, a lot of people ask me all the time, what's the best emulator I can use for testing ROMs and stuff like that? And in all honesty, setting up your own custom emulator is going to be better than anything else that's out there on the market as far as... Uh, like Bluestacks, Memu, Nox Player, or the one that comes with the actual Android SDK. Just simply download something like Remix OS, Phoenix OS, or Android x86 and run it in what's called VirtualBox. And today, I'm going to show you how to run a live CD version of Remix OS in VirtualBox. So it's really easy to do. First thing that you need to do is obviously you need to get Phoenix OS or Remix OS. Remix OS has been discontinued, so really the only way to find ISOs is through sh uh, really shady links on Google. Or um, just look on archive.org. Uh, Remix OS 2.0 is on archive.org under the software section, so it's pretty easy to find. Or Phoenix OS is kind of a cookie cutter copy of Remix OS. And you can actually just go to their ISO image and just click download for Google Drive, download it, and you're good to go. You can choose if you want Android 5.1 or 7.1. I recommend 7.1 because it'll work with more stuff. From there, you want VirtualBox. It's virtualbox.org. Very easy to get to. Simply click downloads. And then download the one that you need. And then just go through the installer. It's very simple for VirtualBox. If you can't get through a basic Windows installer or a basic OS X installer, you probably shouldn't be watching this video anyway because you're not going to get this to work and you're just going to flood my comments with, hey, it's not working. And then if you're doing this on a Linux computer or a Solaris uh, host, uh, you probably don't need this video. So you can just go away right now. Anyway, so I have a version of uh, Remix actually downloaded but I already have one that's extracted anyway. And as you can see, I do have it up running in guest mode, but we are going to shut this off and I'm gonna show you how I got to that point. So first of all, we're gonna even just straight remove it. We're gonna delete everything and we're gonna go with new. We're gonna call this Remix OS. And then the thing that I always get wrong is I set this wrong. You wanna go other and just other unknown 64 bit. Hit next. Set the amount of RAM to it. On an Android device, you want to set it probably to a minimum of four gigs. But again, this is really based on your computer. Everybody's computer is slightly different. I have eight gigs of RAM total in my computer. I don't want to clog up the computer if I'm multitasking with this open in the background. So four gigs is safe. If you have 16 or 32 gigs of RAM, you might be safe giving it eight gigs of RAM allocation. It really just depends on how your computer is built. Um, and then the other thing is creating a virtual hard disk. You wanna just create it, do VDI, it's simple enough, and then dynamically allocate it. That means it'll grow in size, but it does have a maximum set. Again, with Android, I recommend at minimum 16 or 32. Uh, if you really think you're gonna use this heavily, I would recommend maybe even going as far as 64, but again, it depends on how much storage you have in your computer. At work, for example, I have a Windows 10 virtual machine, and that virtual machine only has 64 gigs of total storage, even though it's for Windows 10. Um, that's because the storage drive inside of the Mac Mini that I'm using is only 128 gigs of storage. So I can't really allocate much, but I have a uh, like four terabyte external drive plugged in anyway. So that's just shared over and I never need to worry about storage space. And that's through USB-C, so I don't have to worry about anything really. So next you wanna go into settings once this is uh, set up and you wanna go through disable floppy. And then also for whatever kind of display you're on, you wanna set it correctly. Most of you that are gonna be on laptops or desktops I'd say maybe 40% of you guys have probably touchscreen laptops if you're using a newer laptop. So you could set it to a USB multi-touch tablet if you want to. Else, set it to mouse and just leave it. I'm on a Dell all-in-one, a 27-inch Dell all-in-one, so I can set it to multi-touch tablet and physically use my touchscreen. From there, you also want to select only up to the green 
where the green ends is as far as you should go. And then from there with displays, you want to enable 3D acceleration, uh, leave it on VBox VGA, and select your video memory. From there, you don't need remote displays, or if you do want to record, you can set all that up. But then in storage, click empty, click this, and select your ISO. From there, actually, no, we're going to set this up the right way. So I didn't, this actually wouldn't work for me unless I set it to SATA. And from there, I had to do the Remix OS VDI and then the disk drive. So, you know do what you do also emulating solid state if you have solid state storage will make the emulation faster i don't have a solid state drive in this computer so that's kind of pointless you can also choose how you want to run audio you can choose your networking setups your usb stuff a future video i'll show you how to emulate usb 2.0 um and then also by the way uh just leave that alone and you also want to choose if you want to share clipboards and share drag and drops. So, okay. And then we hit start. And from here, since this is going to be a live CD, nothing is going to get saved. I've been having a little trouble on this specific computer, uh, basically getting it running correctly. And actually, why is this? I want the attached one. Start. Thank you. It should be the one that's attached. I don't know why it's giving me a headache. But as you can see, we're going to run it in guest mode today. So you hit enter. It might give you an error depending on how you have your setup. And also in the future, I'll show you how to do GPU pass through. GPU pass through means you'll be able to uh, give it more than 128 megabytes of video memory. And when you do that, you'll be flying. You'll definitely want to give it more than 128 megabytes if you're going to try to do gaming through this. Now, Initial first uh, an initial boot for this can take upwards of five to ten minutes because it's deodexing the entire Android uh, system. Deodexing or dexing, I forget which one it is, but it's doing one of the two. So this can take actually quite a few minutes to boot. But in the next video that I make, once I get installing it working, because that's not working for me, of course, um, I'll show you guys. Uh, to make it so this boots a lot faster so what i'm gonna do is pause the recording until this boots and we'll go from there so as you can see we have booted and what you're gonna want to do for oh no i forgot i set it up for touch screen sorry so again this is because i have it set to 120 or 69 megabytes <laughs> nice uh 69 megabytes nice uh, video memory so I actually uh, am gonna have a very laggy usage here but I'm gonna at least set it up so it's running we can skip the Wi-Fi setup because it'll get networking another way I don't care about Google Play services and the setups complete that's remix OS it's that simple and the cool thing is you can also just full screen this and tell it hey make my make it full screen mode or scale it. And then you can do a switch, it'll scale it. And it's being a little laggy, but it's setting up. So give it a second. It isn't. Uh, it's definitely laggy. <laughs> Again, this is because of that video memory problem. I can't give it more than 69 megabytes or it just freaks out uh, because I'm also recording at the same time. But it is working. It's just working terribly and I don't know why it's a black screen. But it does work. You can. I will promise you that it does work. So we're gonna shut this down. And then okay and that's getting an emulator to run on your computer now remember like I said I was having problems because of the amount of video memory I can can give it 
the next video I'll show you how to do GPU pass through and we'll actually uh, have more video memory than that because next time I record a video for this it'll be on my main desktop and it will be uh, a 4 gig RX 570 GPU or maybe I'll throw my 960 in it and use that for my pass through for just my virtual machines because I'm going to become a virtual machine daddy. Uh, just like one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, some ordinary gamers. Anyway, <laughs> I'll never be as smart as that guy, I promise. But I'm going to go play some Pokemon Go on my Razer phone too. Um, because this phone is beautiful and I want to catch some shit. Uh, not STDs though. So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you are really just looking for using a quick emulator and you don't want to deal with this GPU pass through and having all these advanced settings you don't really understand download Nox Player. Nox Player is probably the best one out there. Um, other than that, Memu is pretty good but they all kind of get advertisements in them eventually and it sucks. So... You can do an ad block with like block ADA, but that'll only block ads in the apps. So you would have to do something with like your host file editing and that would remove the ads from uh, the actual emulator. But I hope you guys learned something. Next time, maybe I'll do a virtual machine in Windows because that's a lot of fun too. So talk to you guys later. Peace out.